हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आशा आई टी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टॉप ट्वेंटी कोर जॉब ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंटली एस्ट क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट व्हाट इज जेडीके जेआरई एंड जेवीएम जेडीके इज व्हाट जावा डेवलपमेंट किट इट कंटेन जेआरई प्लस सम डेवलपमेंट टूल्स जेडीके इट इज यूज फॉर टू डेवलप अ एप्लीकेशन इट कंटेन डिफरेंट टूल्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डेवलप द जावा एप्लीकेशन जेआरई जावा रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट इट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर पैकेज दैट प्रोवाइड्स जावा क्लासेस then java virtual machine and other components that are required to run java application jvm java virtual machine java virtual machine when you run the java program java compiler first compiles your java code to byte code and then the jvm translate your byte code into native machine code that's why this machine code whatever generated by this jvm it executed by operating system jvm makes your java as a platform independent but jvm itself platform dependent question number 2 can i execute a java program without main method yes prior to jdk 7 we can execute a program without main method with the help of static block because jvm loads class then it executes static blocks and then it will look for the main method if main method is not found it will throws an exception but After JDK seven, it is compulsory to add main method in your program. That's why main method is mandatory after JDK seven. Question number three: What are access modifiers in Java? There are four access modifiers in Java: public, private, protected, and default. You can refer this table for more information. Private: the access level of a private modifier is only within the class. It cannot be accessed from outside the class. Default. the access level of a default modifier is only within the package it can be accessed from outside the package if you do not specify any access level it will be the default protected the access level of a protected modifier is within the package and outside the package through child class if you do not make the child class it cannot be accessed from outside the package public the access level of a public modifier is everywhere it can be accessed from within the class outside the class or within the package and outside the package question number 4 is it possible to overload main method in java application yes we can overload main method in java a java class can have any number of overloaded main methods but first of all java virtual machine finds original main method original main method means a main method with the syntax of public static void main and which accept string type of array and then the if you don't provide this method this original main method your class will get compiled but it won't run without main method question number 5 why multiple linearities is not supported in java to avoid diamond problem to avoid ambiguity in java application we'll take one example if you see in this diagram this class z it extends class x and class y class x and class y both are having same method m1 with same method signature but its implementation is different so at that time java compiler cannot decide which m1 method it should inherit so it creates ambiguity to prevent such type of situation to avoid this diamond problem to avoid this ambiguity multiple inheritance is not supported in java question number 6 does abstract class have constructors and if yes then why yes because we need to initialize the non abstract methods as well as instance variable therefore there should be constructor for a abstract class an abstract class can have a constructor you can either explicitly provide a constructor to the abstract class or if you don't provide the compiler will automatically add default constructor and the constructor of subclass will invoke that constructor of the superclass either implicitly or explicitly as well as chaining of constructor is one of the reason behind the abstract classes can have a constructors question number 7 what is constructor constructor is a special type of method which is having same name as your class name and it does not have any return type not even void also or you can say constructor is a special method which is having same name as your class name and constructor use constructor is used to construct the values for objects 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वॉट इज फाइनल एंड वाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड फाइनल इज अ की वर्ड फाइनल कैन बी यूज विथ वेरिएबल एंड मेथड एंड क्लासेस वेन यू यूज दिस फाइनल की वर्ड विथ वेरिएबल द फाइनल वेरिएबल कैन नॉट बी री इनिशलाइट विद अनदर वैल्यू वेन द वेन यू आर यूजिंग दिस फाइनल की वर्ड विथ मेन मेथड देन द फाइनल मेथड कैन नॉट बी ओवर रिडन एंड वेन यू आर यूजिंग दिस फाइनल की वर्ड विथ क्लास द फाइनल क्लास कैन नॉट बी एक्सटेंडेड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वॉट इज एक्सेप्शन एंड एक्सप्लेट टाइप्स एन एक्सेप्शन इज एन इवेंट विच ऑकर ड्यूरिंग द एक्सिक्यूशन ऑफ अ प्रोग्राम एंड ड्यू टू दैट एक्सेप्शन नॉर्मल फ्लो ऑफ दट प्रोग्राम गेट डिस्टर्ब सो एक्सेप्शन इज वॉट इट इज एन एक्सपेक्टेड इवेंट विच ऑकर ड्यूरिंग द प्रोग्राम एक्सिक्यूशन एंड इट विल एफेक्ट द फ्लो ऑफ युअर प्रोग्राम इंस्ट्रक्शन हियर द थ्रोएबल क्लास इज द रूट क्लास in this hierarchy there are two types of exceptions checked exception and unchecked exception checked exception they are also called as compile time exceptions and they are checked by the compiler at compile time only and then the program is is prompted to handle this type of exceptions if you take for example trying to open a file and does not exist then it will return file not found exception second type runtime exception runtime exception it is also known as unchecked exception Unchecked exception. We can take one example for that. Null pointer exception. These exception are not checked at compile time, but they are checked at run time. Question number ten. What is difference between string, string buffer, and string builder class? String is immutable class. Immutable means you can't change. Where string buffer and string builder, these two classes are mutable classes. Another difference. String buffer is synchronized class. Where string builder is non-synchronized. Synchronized means string buffer is thread safe. Where string builder is not thread safe. Question number eleven. What is functional interface? Functional interface which contains only one abstract method. That interface is called as functional interface. And that functional interface is also known as single abstract method interface, or you can say SAM. And its functional interface it can contain default and static method. we can take one example this callable and runnable these are the built in functional interfaces available in java if you want to use this functional interface you can use functional interface annotation question number 12 what is stream api stream is a sequence of element which is taken from source the source can be your collection or array a stream in java can be defined as a sequence of elements from a source and the source of elements we can refer as a collection and or array us and this stream they are used to perform complex operation on this collection which type of operations filtering sorting mapping this type of operations can be performed on this collection a stream is not a data structure and it is designed for lambda stream do not support index access also question number 30 what is different between constructor and methods constructor has same name as class name where method can assign any name to the you can assign any name to a method constructor does not have any return type but method can have any return type why constructors are used they are used for initializing the objects where methods they are mainly used to reuse the code without writing that code again constructor they are implicitly invoked by the system where method is called by the programmer right the new keyword plays an important role in invoking the constructor where method calls are responsible for invoking methods these are the some differences from of constructor and method question number 14 what is serialization serialization is a process of converting an object into a byte stream serial byte stream so serialization in java it can be implemented using java.io.serializable interface why the serializ serialization is used serialization mechanism is usually usually used when there is no need to send your data or your uh, you can say your objects over the network or to store in a files now the hardware components like network infrastructure hard disk understands only bytes and bits not the java objects so serialization is used in this case which translate java objects state to byte stream 
and it can be sent it over the network. Question number 15. How to handle exception in Java? The try catch is the simplest method of handling exception. Put the code you want to run in the try block and any Java exception that the code throws are caught by one or more catch blocks. The first catch block that handles the exception class or one of its super classes will be executed. So make sure uh, if you want to use this catch, the catch the most specific class first. Question number 16, what is difference between list and set? List, it allows to add the same or duplicate element where the set does not allow duplicate elements. In list, the insertion order is maintained where in set, insertion order is not maintained. List allows us to add any number of null values, but set allows us to add at least one null value only. The list implementation classes are link list, array list, and set implementation classes are trace set, hash set, linked hash set. So li this list, it is used when we want to frequent lacks of the elements by using the index. And set is used when we want to design a collection of distinct elements. Question number 17. What is synchronization? Synchronization is a process of controlling shared resource access accessibility by multiple thread requests at a time. In Java, synchronization refers to the ability to control the access of multiple threads to any shared resource. It is an ideal option where we want to allow only one thread to access the shared resource. There are two types of synchronization in Java, process synchronization and thread synchronization. Question number 18. What is difference between throws and throw keyword? The throw keyword is used inside a function. It is used when it is required to throw an exception logically. And the throws keyword is used in the function signature. It is used when the function has some statements that can lead to exception. Again, the throw keyword is used to throw an exception explicitly. It can throw only one exception at a time where the throws keyword can be used to declare multiple exceptions and they are separated by a comma. Whichever exception occur, if matched with the declared one, it throws automatically. Throw keyword can propagate checked exception. It is only used to pro propagate the unchecked exceptions that are not checked using throws keyword. And where throws keyword is used to propagate the checked exceptions only. These are the differences. Question number 19. What is marker interface? Marker interface, it is also known as tagged in in interface. The marker interface in Java, it is an interface with no field or no method or in simple words, you can see it's an empty interface in Java. That's why it is called mark marker interface. There are some examples of marker interface, serializable, clonable, remote. These are the examples. They are used to indicate something to compiler. They are used to indicate something to JVM. If JVM sees one class implements clonable, it performs some operations to support cloning. Question number 20, what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding? Method overloading is performed within a class only. Method overriding occurs between parent and child class. In method overloading, parameter must be different. Where in method over overriding, parameter must be same. In method overloading, or we can say method overloading is an example of compile time polymorphism, where method overriding is an example of runtime polymorphism. In method overloading, return type can be same or different. And in method overriding, return time must be same or covariant in method overriding. So these are the top 20 core Java interview questions. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you. Thank you.